What's up guys, Drew from Misfit Athletics. We are here at Open Prep Camp at Misfit HQ in Maine, and we are going over a full video series for you guys for the Open on gymnastics specifically. So many of these workouts are dictated by your ability to do toes to bar, to do muscle ups, to do handstand push ups, chest to bar pull ups, all these different things. So what we're gonna do is take you through our progression within Open Prep Camp to be able to get you ready for the Open. All right, so we are going over toes to bar and we are gonna operate under the progression or the checklist of grip, kip, and kick. If something goes wrong within your toes to bar, there is something wrong with your grip, your kip, or your kick. I'm actually proud of myself for saying That's that because I tried to say it earlier and I was saying like Kirk, kip, whatever. So what I love about a nice progression or checklist or having this systematic approach is I know that if I take a games athlete that we can clean up efficiency and make sure that things are working the way that they need to and I can take someone who's trying to just figure out why they're swinging from here to here and over here maybe a little bit trying to get that first nice big set of effortless toes to bar. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get nice and close here and we're going to take a look at Sherb's grip. He is going to try as hard as he can to get his pinky knuckle and then the rest of the knuckles to follow on top of the bar. You will notice that everyone that crushes gymnastics has a very similar grip. It looks like they're trying to over grip the bar. So once he gets over there, he can wrap his thumb and then create that closed system. Anytime we want to stay healthy in our shoulders and we want to kind of wind into the bar, if we have that open system with our thumb on top, we can kind of peel away. So when he closes that down, if he's having some issues with his shoulders, he's gonna be able to wind in. So what I want everybody to do right now before we kit, before we do anything, is to one more time, take a look at his grip here. He's really reaching up over, he's getting that thumb around. We do not wanna see any of this type of grip during this workout. It's gonna make this, all of this so much harder and this applies to any bar gymnastics. So find a spot, Play with the grip a little bit and then we'll come right back over. I suggest anybody right now that has to jump up and reach the bar to find a shorter one just to really get a feel for, for getting as much of your hand over the bar as possible. Feel the difference because I see a few people right now that like, like even that right there is not enough. Like, like your knuckles are pointing this way, these ones, those should be on top of the bar. Yes. So yes, there you go. Using grips helps. Absolutely, yeah. Using, using grips helps. I see some people that are getting the knuckles on their fingers over the bar. I'm talking bottom knuckles all the way down by your hand. Get all the way up over the bar. All right, everybody back over. Come on over. I noticed some kipping was going on there. So we're going to actually go to the, to the next part of the progression where we are going to kip and kick. So what Sherb's gonna show us here is he's going to jump up, he's going to grab a few gymnastics kips, and then he is going to start doing knees to chest. Good, go ahead and come down. So the kick portion here is a little bit of cheating. It doesn't happen in the toes to bar itself. We're not gonna get to here and then push our foot out but it's a great drill to understand without having this massive range of motion that we need to be able to kind of fold up here, but then be nice and long on the way down. Those two things are really important and they seem to be mutually exclusive for a lot of athletes, but they do not need to be. So he's gonna do one more set for you and I want you to watch how even though his knee comes up, by the time he gets his foot back under his body, he's nice and long. Grip, kip, kick. Some nice emphasis there for dramatic effect. All right, go ahead and come down. So anytime something goes wrong within this movement, all we do is take a step backwards. Is my grip where it needs to be? Am I actually controlling what I need to control here or am I just swinging all over the place? And then as the knees come up, am I kicking out to recreate that position? It's always going to be your grip, your kip, or your kick. Find a spot. So let's say someone could be all the way from here. 
Yeah, and we'll get there for you, for your toes to bar. But let's say we're taking somebody that's through a progression, yeah. yeah, which is a, a few people here. Yep. When you get to, let's say this is as far as you can go. Yep. A lot of people go back here and yep. ruin their kip. So if I get here and let my foot go out and relax, I recreate that kip. We need that, we need that swing. That free energy is worth so much. If I go back here, then I have to actively pull my hip flexor forward. So just the knee. So when you get that knee up, kick out, there we go. Good. Good. So the last, the last piece here is you've done your work, you've kicked out, I want you to relax a little bit. Because you get here and you try to actively create this big swing, but once you get your feet up high, it's just gonna take care of itself. It's gonna be one of those things where your feet are here, if they fall that whole distance, you're gonna get speed. Because when we get into an open workout and your toes to bar start to get better, you're gonna wanna start thinking about your breathing. So if you're calm and you're smooth and you're kind of running through it, you're gonna be able to link more reps together. But if you kind of throw yourself through, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. So when you get to here, it's just, it takes care of itself. Try not to kick back, there we go, much better, good. Awesome, nice job. So that's, that's, that's kind of how the progression goes. We've got this figured out, okay, I'm actually getting better at it. I wonder if I can like calm down during it. I wonder if I can get my heart yeah, rate yeah, yeah. to that place so that when I go to grab a barbell, I'm ready to rock. Good. All right, everybody back in, last progression. So, we're still going over the same stuff, we're just bringing it through. And remember, if something goes wrong, just take a step back in the progression. That's all you have to do. Set up underneath, we're gonna kip. Let's go through the full progression. And get some gymnastics kips in here. He's got that full grip so he can use his lats and pull himself behind the bar. He's kicking here. Now he's going to get his knees higher and higher. And we're going to kick the bar. As a coach, I really love to hear that sound because what that means is he's raised his knee up into a position where he's not frying out his hip flexor by having that super long moment arm here. Obviously this is a lot easier than this. So as he gets his knee up, we know that he's being aggressive and limiting time under tension by kicking the bar. So you wanna be able to hear yourself kick the bar. And naturally, we should understand now how we get back to that position before we kick out, but we're gonna have him do them one more time. Let's go full progression. Good grip, good kip. We get the knees up. He's going to push those out. He's going to continue that progression. He's going to start to kick the bar. What happens right after he kicks the bar? Yeah, the legs come out. We get to use gravity at that point. We get to just put our legs out there, maybe just a little bit of hip flexor to make that happen. And then we have to relax. I was just talking to Brees over there about like the progression as you're going through competitive CrossFit. You've got the movement figured out. Now we got to learn to relax during it, right? So, so I know that if I'm up here and I'm actively pulling my feet down and I'm trying to accentuate the kip at the bottom and all this different stuff, time under tension is going to be longer, heart rate's going to be higher, all this different stuff's going to be more challenging. So we need to be able to get into this and get into that movement pattern and then learn to relax a little bit. So let's go ahead and find your spot. Again, if you're by yourself and you're working on it for a second and things are going wrong, just take a step back. Knees to chest, keep those feet low, then kick the bar. Good. One thing with, with gymnastics in terms of how close your hands are together, it's going to be a little bit harder on your shoulder joint in terms of accumulating reps, the closer your hands are together. Um, for, for, for leverage sake, this makes sense. You're nice and long in this position. You're gonna be able to swing and kick. But if you ever feel any of this happening to you and pull-ups and toes to bar and anything like that, make sure you go a little bit wider and that'll just allow for the shoulder socket to like sit back in its joint like it's supposed to. But the toes to bar themselves look great. We're done. <laughs>